Hey guys, um, I just wanted to talk about something. If we, w if they wanted to, the writers could have put Spider Punk in this show. We could have gotten an animated Hobie Brown Spider Punk in this show. You know, the most critically acclaimed, greatest incarnation of Spider Man. If you're wondering, oh, what are you talking about? I can happily explain. You see, when it comes to this show, I was never a fan of. Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy as a couple. Come at, hate me if you want. Even as a kid, I never liked them. I liked Peter and Liz. I thought they were an adorable couple, and I thought the writing could have been great with them. And in an episode where Peter is trying out for the football team, Liz tells them tells him that it's down to him, Harry, and Hobie Brown. That is the name of Spider Punk. So, if this show got its season two that it damn well deserves, because also, in case you didn't, in case you have forgotten, with how with how great this show is, there's only 26 episodes. That is a damn shame that this show, arguably one of the greatest animated incarnations of Spider-Man ever, has only 26 episodes. Excuse me. I mean, personally, this is my thing. I'm always going to be a very big fan and a little more lenient on Spider-Man the Animated Series. Or as I call it, the time where every cartoon character was jacked. But I can't deny, the writing, the characters, everything in this show was fucking flawless. Another ship I liked more than him and uh, Gwen was him and Black Cat, but again, but to be fair, that's my favorite couple in any Spider-Man thing ever. But yeah, if they wanted to, and if they could have gotten a season two, we could have gotten, and if, again, if they wanted to write it, we could have gotten a Hobie Brown. He could have been like, and I, I don't like using this at all, how more modern Spider-Man cartoons have hit Spidey teaming, even in the game, Spider-Man... Uh, PS4 and now Spider-Man 2. Uh, he's teaming up with Miles. And Miles being like, I don't want to say sidekick, but his partner. We could have gotten this Spider-Man teaming up and working with Spider-Punk. You know, I know I say you know now. I'm stupid. Sorry. But yeah, the most popular character aside from in Spider-Man India. The most popular character in in across the Spider-Verse. Just looking at it, I was so happy I found this. I found this like a long time ago. Ah, son of a gun. At uh, Disc Replay, which is why discs will fall out. So yeah, it's only four, um, four discs. And I'll also say this, again, as much as I love uh, the AM at, the AS, T A S. The animated series. God almighty. This is probably the best version of animated symbiote Parker. And also, again when it comes to Peter and Liz, she really did love this motherfucker. One of my favorite moments with them is when he's in his Spidey costume on Halloween and he pretend and he acts like it's just a costume, which I feel like almost every Spider-Man cartoon does do this at one point. They just have Peter wearing the costume as a costume, not as his outfit. And P Liz says, and I fucking quote, you can web me up anytime, Petey. And also, aside from that being crazy, I want to point out another thing with Liz in this show, is that she always calls him Petey, even when they aren't dating. When they're just friends, or when he's just her tutor, she always calls him Petey. That always has made my brain tick. I've always been someone who loves to think about things. I might not talk, say what I'm thinking out loud, but my brain will always process things and think of reasons. My, and an idea is, why does she always call him Petey when they aren't together and when she damn sure was hating on the guy when she was a bitch to him so i thought there's a there's probably two major reasons one it's just her character is the high school girl who calls peter Petey, just as a nickname second there is a chance and it's very debatable this is bullshit and i'm just overthinking something 
It's very logical in that. That in this universe, Peter and Liz may have been friends before getting into high school or university, whatever it is. Um, nope. Yeah. So they may have been friends before they got into this and before Liz got together with Flash. Just something I've always thought of. Also, another thing I love about this cartoon. Tube Stone. Coming off of the animated series where they had fucking Kingpin, who is one of the most underrated, underutilized badasses in Marvel's villain rogue gallery. Same with Tombstone. This show made Tombstone one of the most badasses of Spider-Man's rogue gallery. He basically was t Kingpin, but skinny and made of rock looking motherfucker. Sadly, he's not in the back of the box. You got Sandman, Green Goblin, Venom, Vulture, Lizard, Electro, Shocker. And that's it for the rogues. Also, I will say this. This version of Eddie and Venom, I wish we could have gotten a redemption arc with them. I really wanted... I'm a sap for happy endings, I'm sorry. I wish we could have gotten a, a redemption arc with this version of Peter and um, uh, Eddie. And that's kind of what one thing I like about... Marvel Spider-Man, like the one where they gave him his team and they actually made him part of the Avengers, is that they made Agent Venom. Imagine that in this show with this writing. Because while that show has its good points, and I'm not talking about this one, I'm talking about just Marvel Spider-Man, whatever it was, Ultimate Spider-Man, I think it was. That show was garbage, because I think U Ultimate Spider-Man, I believe, was the next show after this. And you can't follow this with Ultimate Spider-Man. This video kind of went a little off the rails, and I apologize. It's also been a while since I've recorded just a pointless video that wasn't cringe of the month or a, a freaking haul. But I saw that, and... Just wanted to talk about it and just say we could have gotten some awesome things. And just in general, this show had so much potential. And I remember when the poster to Across the Spider Verse came out and people saw this dude in the corner. People went apeshit. I'm just thinking, he's not the focus of the movie. It's going to be cool to see him again after all these years, but he's not going to have a, nothing more than a cameo in. That was it. He was on screen for, like, eight seconds. Maybe 12 if you count as seen in the canon events where we did see that if this show were to have continued, George Stacy, Gwen's father and chief of police, would have died. And that's another question. Would that have put a rift between Gwen and Peter? Also, just a quick spider thing. Um, I hate, sp I hate Gwen. I hate her. Good written character. Nothing really against her. I just don't like her. This is how people... I'm stretching with this. Kind of like how people hate um, Sam Raimi's Mary Jane Watson. Their hate for her is definitely deserved. She's a horrible written character. She's fucking useless as all hell. And she's your but she's your and she's your classic damsel, dumbass damsel in distress. Gwen, smartly written, great character, and helps the little bastard. I just don't. And this is nothing. Just going off that version of Gwen, whether it's Gwen Stacy in the animated Sp the Amazing Spider-Man, Gwen Stacy in any animated cartoon, or Gwen Stacy in Into and Across the Spider Verse. I just don't like her. And I feel like also I remember seeing this comic. In the co in the comic shop I visit, it was Gwen versus her sinis the Sinister Six, and this is how lazy these people were with this story. They could have made a whole new rogues gallery for Gwen, or even just gender swapped some characters, or made different people the villains. Like maybe instead of Venom, Eddie is fucking Sandman or something like that, and Eddie's the Lizard, Eddie's Shocker, Eddie's like. Just come up with twists or something like that. No, in this comic, Gwen Stacy Sinister Six, it's just Gwen. Gwen Goblin, Gwen Ock, Gwen Sant Craven. 
That is the laziest thing. And actually, even if I don't like Gwen Stacy, I see that as the most disrespectful thing you could do is give someone a spider, a Sinister Six, their biggest threat, a threat that they need their purest and their most powerful version of themselves against. Their true potential aspire. They need to unlock that. Hell, this guy needed the symbiote to whoop their ass. And even then, it was the symbiote controlling an unconscious Peter whooping their ass. Not for Gwen, it's just her. Am I the only one that sees that as disrespectful to the character? I don't like her, but again, even I see that as an insult to her. So like, yeah, you'll get your own Sinister Six, but it's gonna be you versus five, six other yous. What? Anyway, this video went fucking weird. Um, bye.